Lorenzo, thankfully, the interim chief said they are all expected to be okay. He gave us kind of an overview of their injuries. He said one of them had been shot in the chest and was hit in the leg as well as the arm. He said another one was hit in the back, and both of those officers were saved by the vest they were wearing, he said. Now, he said a third officer was hit in the foot, and one of those officers will be undergoing surgery right here tonight. But I want to walk you through the preliminary info the police gave us about what happened tonight. Now, the interim chief said around 630 at night, officers responded to the 1300 block of Capitol View Terrace for a call of a home invasion. He said they were on scene within minutes and almost immediately within seconds were ambushed with gunfire. A police spokesperson said it appears as though officers were pulling up as those officers are pulling up those suspects in the home invasion seem to be trying to leave and then fired. Now again, three police officers were shot with various degrees of injuries and the interim chief said that they have two men in custody right now. As far as they know, the woman who called about the home invasion appears to be okay. And they said that, that no one else was injured as far as they know at this time. Now, County Executive Angela also Brooks said that she met with all three officers here tonight. She said all of them are fairly young and in pretty good spirits, but one's comments in particular really struck her. His concern wasn't for himself and the injury that he suffered, but he said, I could tell that the lady, uh, that there was the person who called really needed us. And I was just trying to get to her tonight. Um, his son turned one years old yesterday, and again, uh, he was shaken to his core, not concerned about himself, but said, I really love this department and I want to continue this work.